Hello, hello, hello. Yes, it is me. I'm back. That FM dude. Um, I know I kind of vanished uh, without <laughs> any uh, warning. Um, reasons for that, I, I don't want to go into that, but um, there were some personal reasons and some technical reasons. The technical reasons are still bugging me a little, but... Um, they'll get sorted. Um, I've already recorded a new video which I will be uploading uh, tonight probably <coughs> um, and I will be uploading occasionally again I won't say regularly because I don't want to uh, impose a schedule on myself I, that's just not going to work um, what you can see on the screen here is the new logo um, or at least uh, for now I might change it but for now this is going to be it um, yeah basically you can already see it here um, I will be trying to expand a little bit not just FM videos because uh, yeah, they just. I want to get them fairly right. You know, I I want to put some time and effort in into those videos, and and you know, just mixing it up a little bit will take the pressure off um, the FM videos. I think, and just I'll, I'll enjoy it, and I hope you will uh, enjoy it as well. Um. So yeah. As you can see, FM 14, I am playing it, I have bought it, I uh, haven't been playing a lot the last few months, actually, um, because I haven't had time, but I will be playing it again, um, and I have a few ideas, if you guys like to see some uh, FM 14 videos before FM 15 comes out we still have some time I mean it's probably um, yeah we're, we're gonna have a few more months uh, of FM 14 I'm sure um, so yeah I have a few ideas if you guys like to see some FM 14 videos if you you say you know um, don't bother then I will fill the time until FM15 with some other games um, maybe some online games which can be fun to watch um, to watch me play um, or just some videos about other topics you know uh, perhaps the uh, my humble opinion about the uh, World Cup or a few games in the World Cup um, mostly Belgium probably if we stay in it for a long time I might dedicate a few videos uh, to that um, so stuff like that you know I'll probably even if I do FM 14 I'll, I'll do some of that as well uh, whenever I have the time and the urge to, to, to do so but if you do uh, want to see some FM 14 from me before I go to FM 15 Here's a few things I think are doable within the time frame. So we have this, the Sir Alex Ferguson challenge. Um, I was thinking of doing the moderate way, because the Fergie way is going to take too long. <laughs> um, yeah, so the moderate way would be to begin with a mid-table English club who haven't won a league title in over 25 years and turn them into world beaters uh, developing several generations of new superstars along the way I'm not sure how many generations we'll be able to uh, develop in the in that time frame of a few months but uh, we'll see if, if we if I do this um, I think it can be fun um, if you do want me to see this, uh, you do want to see me do this, 
or, or attempt to do this, um, leave a comment uh, if you want to suggest it, a club for me. Um, feel free to do so. Um, I'll uh, I'll take any suggestions. Uh, I think it can be fun. Okay, so that's one one possibility possibility um another possibility is to just you know the easy way trying to uh um trying to do well with manchester united which wasn't the case uh this season so but i think a lot of people have already done that um and therefore i, I don't think it's really that great to watch um yeah, so another possibility is Woodlands Wellington. Uh, apparently the Woodlands are the weaving boys of the Singapore S League. In their last 90 league games they've won only 10. And that's pretty sad. <laughs> it's a 25th anniversary and they want to celebrate by not being absolutely awful at football. So to help you achieve that aim you have a transfer kitty of barely thirty thousand pounds and absolutely no available wage budget oh and if you can get them uh, if you can't get them to mid-table a level they haven't been haven't achieved since uh, 2000, 2006 they'll sack you uh, <laughs> so if you think you're something special just you try and prove it here so uh, that seems like a, a nice challenge to me and I don't think um, it, it looks to me like a uh, one maybe two three season uh thing uh, and i think that's very doable uh within the time frame that we have left so this seems to me like a good candidate for a challenge and i don't think a lot of people have done this um so yeah that's that's i like that challenge um but feel free to leave a comment if you like it as well mm -hmm. Then we have another one here, down here, the Rangers. I think this probably has been done a few times as well, um, so maybe it's not a great challenge, but I wouldn't mind having a go at it. Um, so let me know if you think I should try that, um, you know, get the Glasgow Rangers back uh, up into the, uh, the top Scottish uh, tier. Uh, and you know give, get them some some glories again um, yeah I, I don't like that this one as much as I, as I said I think a lot of people have already tried that or done that probably so mm, it's okay I, I guess but um, I like the other one more um, and then the last challenge that I found that I thought was interesting is the 35 million challenge uh, Bluestone United. The idea is you start with a new team in the Barclays, Barclays Premier League um, called Bluestone United. You have no players uh, but 35 million and uh, I'm not sure what I, I, it's probably going to be pounds so yeah so 35 million pounds um, transfer budget and 350,000 pounds wages and the idea is oh yeah as you can tell pounds okay so um, the idea is to survive the Premier League and once well survive <laughs> um, 35 million pounds it's it's a lot of money obviously but I'm not sure what quality uh, team you can really uh, make with that? I think it's an interesting challenge, you know, to uh, to get a quality team for thirty-five million pounds, and then trying to win the Premier League, the Champions League, the FA Cup, the Capital One Cup. Um, not sure if I I can't really uh, estimate. Um, how good my team would be with 35 million pounds don't really have a feel for that but um, 
I think it would take a few seasons to uh, to get all these uh, all that silverware together. So, but yeah, um, so I'm back. Uh, let me know if you think I should do some FM14. Uh, if you do, tell me what what you uh, what you liked, uh, or if you have some other suggestions, they're welcome as well. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Waffle Iron.